Barbados has been receiving technical assistance from the Pan American Health Organization to revise the 1985 Mental Health Act to bring it in line with advances in the delivery of care. According to Acting Prime Minister Santia Bradshaw, the proposed changes include the provision of rehabilitation services and mental health care in the community. The Act covers care provided in the hospital setting, but does not currently include that provided by consultant psychiatrists practicing in our polyclinics or by community mental health nurses who make home visits to newly discharged patients and to at-risk individuals. And let me just impress the urgency of having this done, Dr. Brown, um, because I think during the COVID-19 pandemic, a lot of people um, were lost as well in terms of their their connection with their doctors and I, I know a lot of people are, who would have been taking medication, they've stopped taking it and you need to be able to have the community health nurses really within the community to get these people back reintegrated and get them back on track. The acting Prime Minister has also disclosed that action plans are being developed for suicide prevention among other things. PAHO is collaborating with the Ministry of Health and Wellness in the development of a roadmap for mental health reform and a mental health strategic plan for the continued development of mental health care and its delivery in Barbados. In addition, plans are being finalized for further strengthening and expanding of community-based services through the development of action plans for suicide prevention, anti-stigma, maternal mental health, psychological first aid, and workplace mental health wellness. Ms. Bradshaw was addressing the official ceremony for the reopening of the recreational and occupational therapy buildings at the psychiatric hospital. The disused buildings, which once housed a kitchen and the other a pay ward, were demolished to make way for the construction and retrofitting of the new buildings through a $3.9 million investment by the Maria Holder Memorial Trust. Chairman of the Trust, Christopher Holder, says stigma and the small size of the island make it harder for people to access mental health care privately. But he says just as people prioritize physical health, they must recognize the significance of mental well-being. The psychiatric hospital occupation and recreational therapy department are therefore invaluable in assisting patients to re-establish themselves as functional members of their communities. Mental health conditions are not a sign of weakness. They are medical conditions deserving of compassion and proper care. Just as we would not, just as we would not stigmatize someone for having diabetes or heart disease, we should extend the same understanding to those grappling with mental health challenges. According to Mr. Holder, the psychiatric hospital currently caters for 520 people. He anticipates all will benefit from the use of the new facilities at some point. Shurika Griffith, CBC News.